Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we have a simple 10, little over 10 minute type face. This was the look I was able to achieve. So if you wanna see all the products I use and all of that, make sure you keep on watching. But first, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button so you're notified every time I post new videos because I post daily and you don't wanna miss it. And I'm out of here. Peace out, bye y'all. All right, guys, I just need, I'm in a rush this morning. I just need to do a quick 10 minute face. Let's jump right into it. NYX Blur. And I'm gonna pair that with my Poreless Me by Absolute New York. I probably won't talk too much, but I'll at least show y'all the products that I'm using. Let's see if we can create us a, uh oh, I keep telling y'all I need to get another one. I think Walter's having a, beauty event going on and I did briefly see something with NYX on it. Let me check it out. I really love this beauty supply store. Absolute New York primer. Both of them. The hydrating one and the poreless one. Take a little bit of this Wet and Wild Impossible Primer from my eyebrows. This just to keep the all at bay. I prime everything as you can see. Why not prime? <laughs> Okay, for foundation, I mixed my Chanel Longwear in 121, and then my BB Cream by Shop Miss A in the shade D2. Yeah, D2. I mix these two. Perfect combination. <laughs> You're probably say, Nana, how can you mix a $70 foundation? If it's 70, it might be more than that. But with a dollar foundation, and it'd be the perfect combination. It just works like that sometimes. Mm -hmm. The Chanel is full coverage without even trying. And plus, I still have a little, you know, luminosity. It's not all the way mad. That's why I like adding the BB cream. Pump too much out, as usual. Okay, I'm gonna let the foundation sit while we do brows. I'm gonna take my sheet in dark brown gel eyeliner. And that's what we're gonna do the brows with today with a little tiny brush. Brush them up. Brush, brush, brush them up. I'm gonna do the tail with this and I think I'm gonna do powder in the front of it.
Okay, so the gel at the back and then my one size uh, deep trio bronzer. I'm gonna take the middle and do the front with the powder. The front, I should say the front. This one, I think I got a piece of hair out of whack. <laughs> That's it. Just not want to be even. Alright, I'm going to take a little bit of this foundation that I have left over and clean up the brows. Y'all know I like the waist nothing. And a little bit on the eyelids. Let that sit for a minute. Okay, and then I'm gonna tell you, I think this is deep caramel from L. Matt Casella. I know it's kind of bright, but I'm going to put a little bit. I'm going to put that on my chin. Sometimes you only want your chin to be that bright. And then some of my e.l.f. as a bronzer. And then some of my Rare Beauty Blush and Joy. Love <laughs> all I'm good. <laughs> and let's get the blend down. No, <laughs> I gotta blend out. I always have to blend out the contour first, otherwise, I'll have contour everywhere. Then spray and blend. Do the blush last. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty.
Mm, not too much. Can y'all even see the blush? Some of my Sephora 56 Micro Smooth Powder. Just set this part. It's the prettiest setting powder for underneath the eye, really all over the face that I have ever run into. Okay, I'm gonna take, I would keep holding this mirror while looking in that mirror. I'm going to take this Makeup Revolution palette in Passion for Color. I'm going to take that blue shade on my finger. This one. And that's what's going on the lid. Mm. I know it was going to be that pigmented. <laughs> Looking like an avatar when I go to work today. My looks can never be. I said I wouldn't do it. None of this. Nothing complicated. It's going to be a quick, simple 10 minute look. And this is what it turned into. Even though we're still running in good time. But look where it get me. <laughs> Got blue eyes. I'm going to take this green, same finger, green shade, put it on the outer part. like a peacock mm -hmm. take my bronzer shade the lightest one and that's what we're gonna put in the crease Just to, just to make sure like your eyeshadow look blended and I'll just have glitter sitting on my lid. I got a blue green type of look going on. Some lip primer down, do some liner. All right, bronze up the face with the middle shade from the one side. Then 
this is the best investment I made from one size. One size was my first first people that sent me PR. They were the only people that sent me PR, but I really love their products. So that was a bonus to have someone products that you really love and really use <laughs> be your first PR. Okay, yeah, I know I'm not setting this uh, foundation because they set it so just gonna spray it for added setness. <laughs> I'm put some lashes on and I'll be back. All right, guys, this is the little over 10 minute type face, something quick and simple, not too much thinking. Now you see why I put the blue on my eyelids because of this shirt I got on today. I think the face looks natural and it's enough to get me out the door. Sometimes I just have to do enough that's just going to get me out the door, get me to work and get me home. So this is the completed look. Eyeshadow face all of that and now I got the rest. So if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up and I'm out of here. Peace out. Bye y'all